Naruto Shippuden Clash of Ninja Revolution 3! Play through the storm. I train here to get stronger for your real battles. Okay, let's start with movement. Here, try it. Begin! Well, I guess that'll do. Moving is the basic of all basics. Always think about your location during battle. Next is attacking. Begin! Even basic attacks have variations. You can attack in the air and while running. Always keep your options in mind and adapt correctly to the situation you're in. Now for consecutive combo attacks. You can combine attacks and perform them consecutively to overwhelm your opponent. Begin! If you succeed, severely damaged. Learn well the combo attacks that you have available and the timing needed to use them. Next are throws. Try throwing mid. Begin! Opponents who are defended are easy to throw. Once you throw your opponent, they become vulnerable to additional attacks. Next is defending. I'll attack, so you try to defend against it. Ready? Begin! If you let your guard down, you give your opponent a chance to damage you greatly. But you can't completely block weapon attacks, throws, or certain jutsu. Your defense has a limit. Once you go over that limit, you'll lose a lot of chakra. So make sure you can use your attacks and defense wisely. If you can't guard and are about to take damage, you can use a substitution jutsu. I'll attack, so use a substitution jutsu to evade it. Ready? Begin! But a substitution jutsu requires a certain amount of chakra. You can't use it all the time, so choose your moments carefully. Next, we'll work on breaking your fall. I'll throw you, so you can give it a try. Begin! If you get thrown and don't break your fall, you 
might get hit with additional attacks. I think you've got the basics of movement down. But a ninja must be able to use his surroundings to his advantage. For example, let's see. You can use that. Like this. Go on, give it a try. Begin! Hiding behind obstacles allows you to dodge attacks, but they will break eventually. If your opponent hides behind an obstacle, you can break it, leaving them vulnerable. You can also surprise your opponent by attacking from behind an obstacle. Hide again, and then try attacking from cover. Begin! Waiting for your opponent to let his guard down while you hide is another strategy. Well, if you find something you think you can use, try it out. You'll also find fences and cliffs in the stages you fight, like these railings. You can knock your opponent into these spots to expand the stage you're fighting in. When this happens, you're in luck. You can follow up with mid-air attacks. Or you can get ahead of your opponent and inflict more damage to them while they're still in mid-air. In your case, you'd be able to rush and charge your opponent to knock him away. Why don't you give it a try? Just try knocking me toward that railing. Begin! Looks like you got it. But if your opponent figures out your move in midair, well, your attack will fail. Next, we'll cover secret techniques. If you use the chakra you've built up, you can perform a powerful attack. Try it out first. Use all the chakra you currently have. Begin! Here goes! This delivers an extremely powerful finishing blow. If it's evaded or cancelled by your opponent, you'll end up wasting your chakra. However, you could stun your opponent with an attack first to stop that from happening. In every mission you take on, you will be putting your life on the line. Just remember, no matter what the situation is, don't ever give up. When you find yourself in a pinch, use that opportunity to discover your true inner strength.
the power of your jutsu will increase, allowing you to perform feats that you normally couldn't. I'm sure you've experienced this before. Begin! Hang in there. Utilize all your techniques and you'll overcome any challenges that might come your way. As a ninja, no matter what situation you may find yourself in, you must have the guts to never give up. Looks like you're running out of steam. Maybe we should take a break.